Facebook acknowledged today its privacy policy had been violated after the Wall Street Journal reported that some of the site's most popular applications were transmitting personal information about users to advertising and internet tracking companies. It's an incredible amount of information. Mark Rottenberg, head of the Electronic Privacy Information Center, said it could include biographical information, friends, even the unique ID numbers that identify the more than 500 million Facebook users. It's a little bit like uh, learning that the uh, telephone service that you signed up for wasn't really able to keep your calls private. A Facebook spokesperson said today there's no evidence that any personal information was misused or even collected, but added, we plan to introduce new technical systems that will dramatically limit the sharing of user IDs. The Federal Trade Commission warned the online advertising industry last year that it needed to clean up its act. The industry needs to do a better job of self-regulation, one commissioner wrote, or a day of reckoning may be fast approaching. This month, leading trade groups announced a new set of principles and unveiled this advertising option icon. The intent is for it to be on every ad where data is being collected or used. And when you click on it, it tells you about the policies of the companies that are involved in the ad and it allows you to opt out. By taking these steps, the industry is, by taking these steps, the industry is basically acknowledging there's a problem. I think the industry is acknowledging that they have to do better. But Mark Rottenberg says the industry can't be trusted to police itself. You know, the system of online privacy is pretty much broken down. Uh, and that's why we're at a really a critical moment right now, probably for the future of the Internet. The Electronic Privacy Information Center has filed two complaints against Facebook with the FTC, alleging unfair and deceptive trade practices. Katie? All right. Anthony Mason, Anthony, thank you.